Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Raiza. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, welcome to my channel. Over here, I do take you guys on my journey to becoming a medical laboratory technician. I've taken you guys with me to school. I have taken you guys with me to placement. And in today's video, I'm here to answer all of the important questions I get asked about this field. So let's get right into it and not waste any time. Your medical laboratory technician isn't always the most well-known career path, meaning that you may never have heard of it. Everyone has heard of doctors, nurses, surgeons, dental assistants, pharmacists. Medical laboratory technicians aren't always the most discussed or well understood. However, this is a highly rewarding career in the medical field that is a great alternative to the difficult and extremely selective careers such as doctors or surgeons. Because medical laboratory technician career path isn't discussed often, it can be very difficult to learn about it. Hence why I created my channel to even begin with, just to make sure that, you know, I do, I'm doing my part in giving out information to as many people as possible. And this is also part of the reason why I'm actually making this particular video so I can answer as many questions as possible about the field. So by the end of this video, I hope all of your questions are answered and if you do have any more questions regarding this field, do not hesitate to drop me down a comment. Hopefully all of your questions do get answered and as well, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe, and of course, share if you can. So the first question I always get asked often is, what is a medical laboratory technician? So I do get asked this question very, very often um, from friends or family or people in general that are not familiar with it. Medical laboratory technicians work in lab settings. We work with pieces of lab equipment, record results and data, and we conduct tests. So just to kind of paint a picture for you guys. So imagine you're a patient and the doctor decides you need to get some blood work done. So let's say you go into a clinic to get your blood work done. The medical laboratory technician at the clinic will draw your blood and your blood will disappear out of your sight, right? Okay, so you're following along so far. Next, the blood then travels to a lab where a medical laboratory technician slash a technologist will run tests on it, compile the results, and then send them back to your doctor where at that point your doctor will discuss the results with you. Obviously, as a medical laboratory technician, there is so much more than we do, but I was just trying to give you guys a quick example so you guys have an idea. Moving on to question number two. So what are some of the medical laboratory technicians' duties and responsibilities? So as with most jobs, every day will likely be different. You don't do the same thing every day, but the idea or like the concept is, is pretty much the same across the job. So on any given day, there will be various problems to solve, different projects to tackle, and unusual circumstances that may need to be dealt with. In general, however, there are a few common tasks that you may find yourself doing daily. Some of those are preparing solutions and reagents, collecting samples, examining cells, analyzing data and test results, crafting charts, reports, and graphs, operating, cleaning, and maintaining laboratory equipment. So question number three is where do medical laboratory technicians work? So based on the name alone, we can understand that medical laboratory technicians work in labs, right? But the bigger question is where are these labs located? So some of the settings or facilities that medical laboratory technicians can work in are, are hospitals, universities, clinics, private laboratories, public health organizations, research and development facilities. So those are just some of the places or settings that you can find yourself working in as a medical laboratory technician. Question number four is, what is the salary of a medical laboratory technician? So as with any career, there is a decent amount of variance among salaries. But that being said, professionals who've been in the field longer can certainly expect to make more than the average. While recent graduates and workers might make slightly under the average, depending on where you work and what environment you're working in, like what setting, you could be in a hospital, you could be in a clinic, you could be in a private sector. But if I was to give you guys the median salary for a medical laboratory technician, especially here in Canada, I would say about 40,000, depending on what setting you're in, like I said, hospitals pay a lot more than clinics. Honestly, at that point, it's you and your luck and where you get hired. 
Question number five is, what is the medical laboratory technician job outlook? One of the first questions that many of us will ask when considering a new career is the job outlook, right? Obviously, that is a very logical question to ask because there is no future in pursuing a career or a field with no growth and a declining number of jobs, right? When it comes to the field of medical laboratory technicians, you don't need to have any fears. The job outlook is very positive. So meaning with experience and obviously with education, you're likely to find success in this field. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and um, insert something for you guys. You guys keep in mind that I live in Canada, right? So the information that I'm providing is based on uh, being a Canadian resident. I don't know how things work in the States or I'm not sure how things work in other parts of the world but I'm Canadian, so that's the information that I'm providing you guys. So it says that the employment outlook will be fair for medical laboratory technicians and pathologist assistants in Toronto region for the 2019 to 2021 period. The following factors contribute to this outlook. Employment decline would lead to the loss of some positions. Several positions will become available due to retirement. There are a small number of unemployed workers with recent experience in this occupation. It also says here are some key facts about medical laboratory technicians and pathologist assistants in the Toronto region. Approximately 5,000 people, 5,060 people work in this occupation. Medical laboratory technicians and pathologist assistants mainly work in the following sectors. So ambulatory healthcare services and hospitals. So there's, so there's about 89% of the technicians that work in that particular field. So also keep in mind that a lot of baby boomers are retiring and the majority of people from from my experiences so far i've noticed that a lot of the people in the field are actually older people so that means that there's going to be more positions that will open up because of this retirement and this is going to contribute to the job market looking really good so a thumbs up for us question number five will be what are the qualifications and education that you need to become a medical laboratory technician Keep in mind, technicians are different from technologists. If you want to become a technologist, technologists do require more educational background, but to become a technician in Canada, it takes about a year. I do have a separate video where I talk about the school that I went to, so I did go to a private school. I do have a video on my channel where I talk about private colleges versus public colleges. So if you guys wanted to check out that video, um, I do pretty much explain how I became a medical laboratory technician or how I even got into the field. Um, I do kind of get into it in depth. So if you guys wanted to go check out that video, go ahead. Okay, the final and last question is, is a career as a medical laboratory technician for me? Okay, so if any of the four things that I'm about to list applies to you, or if they all apply to you, then I would tell you, go for it. It's a very rewarding career really you have so much opportunity to grow you don't have to just be a technician you can become a technologist you can become a pathology assistant and you can just keep working your way up and trying different things to see what you like and what you don't like they're psychotechnologists for instance and those guys all they do all day is use a microscope and analyze cells to me i don't think i could do that because you know, my eyes get tired very easily, so I can't be looking into a microscope the whole day. But I do see myself working in a field like microbiology or even hematology. So I don't know where it's going to take me, but obviously I do want to eventually progress my career. So four of the things that I'm going to list very quickly is to kind of gauge if this field would be a good field for you to be in. First thing is if you love science. Second thing is if you're detail oriented. Third thing is if you don't mind repetition. And the fourth thing is if you don't mind working behind the scenes. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I have answered as many questions as I can. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. If you have any more questions for me, do not hesitate to drop me down a comment. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I've answered as many questions as I can. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Bye.